how to describe the Bomb community, I would say that it's a for youth by youth grassroots space. What's so magical and what connects us is the love for art and the love for community. It goes hand in hand in the ballroom scene because it is a community that is driven by art, driven by performance, and what keeps us there together is the connections and family ties that we make with people within our houses. It actually becomes your real family, essentially, because your queer family is now embracing you in the fullness of you that your biological family may not. There's an expectation that because, like, we're so informed that people feel like they have to be on, I think. And that is one of the challenges because people feel like they cannot just come out and just be like, I'm not okay right now. Um, like, I need help with this, I need help with that. Like, I started doing this drug and stuff like that. Ballroom kind of finds a way to pump you up too, right? Like when you're coming into the scene, there's such a uplifting that happens to you that you almost don't want to come down from that. Or you don't want to be seen in a different way from that. So even within your peers sometimes, there is a challenge of being honest and open. What would really help to make this change um, is identifying those leaders within these communities and not just the established leaders, right? The up and coming leaders too. You want to impact the community, hire some people from within the community, not just Twisted. Like, you can't influence the TKBA just by only talking to Twisted, right? Like, I learned from Black Cap to actually put that into my practice. When they used to target me back in the day, it's because they thought that Twisted could influence other people. So that's why they hired me. I can call Black Cap for anything. And Black Cap is running to me. Black Cap can call me for anything and I'm running to Black Cap. There's something about creating that relationship with them while they're young. I'm a living example of it because a lot of the work that I do now is still so wrapped up and informed in HIV AIDS prevention because this is the way that I was brought up in the scene. If service providers wanted to connect better with the ballroom community, then hiring young black SGL men is the first step. But these decisions can't be made unless we have a seat at the table. Invest in us, nurture and develop our ideas, and actually listen to young black men. We don't just need a foot in the door, we need you to be open and committed to making change with us.